Uh, so hello everyone, thank you for having me on the call. Uh, glad to be here. My name is Michał Kornet and today I will present the Chrome extension I have created to enhance management and duplication of uh, Power Automate actions. Uh, so let's start with a quick introduction round. Uh, I'm a SharePoint developer uh, with experience in creating intranets and automating processes for clients worldwide. Uh, this particular tool has been developed together with my wife Olga who is also uh, available at, uh, at the call. Uh, we are both passionate about Microsoft Cloud Stack and have been involved in numerous projects between the same technology domain throughout the years. Uh, feel free to find us on LinkedIn or you can visit my personal webpage where we have recently started sharing content related to Microsoft 365 area. So let's jump into today's topic. So uh, we all know how powerful uh, the power platform tools are, yet there are some specific challenges we encountered using, using Power Automate, particularly with the SharePoint platform. Uh, our objective was to create a solution that could address them all in a simple, compact form. So we identified several areas for improvement. For example, creation of missing uh, SharePoint HTTP requests uh, let's imagine, for example, uh, uh, search query uh, post request, for example, uh, or limited action portability. Uh, so it's not so easy to transfer data between different flows. Of course, we can uh, copy the whole flow, but it's not so easy to, um, to copy only frag some fragments uh, between, uh, between tenants, for example. Uh, another issue is persistent of action storage. So we can collect uh, actions in uh, my clipboard section, but it's not so durable and reliable way. And uh, the result of our efforts is the Chrome extension with a range of useful features uh, that can enhance our work and hopefully yours as well. So first of all, the extension allows recording actions directly from SharePoint. You can effortlessly record and capture actions you execute manually in SharePoint online environment, or uh, I have also second method how to make a, uh, how to uh, record actions, but I will show it promptly. Uh, secondly, we uh, introduce community blocking integration with a proper structure of code of your page you can release or from other side consume actions shared by the community through various blocks or other sources. Uh, to boost your performance in creating similar workflows, but in different environments or even tenants, we enabled easier duplication of actions uh, you have already defined in your flow. Uh, now we can copy actions between different environments with ease. Uh, no matter of source, uh, all the actions you copy are stored using Chrome storage, so you can use them in more persistent way. So it's uh, yeah much simpler than, the, than currently. So now we will go through these features in live demo. So let me switch to my uh, Chrome uh, browser. OK, so I will begin with the base concept, which we uh, uh, notify. Uh, simply, currently, we have a section which is named my clipboard. Uh, and of course, we can copy some actions inside of it. But uh, what is also interesting, uh, when you copy it using this function, you also copy uh, the code of this particular action to your system clipboard. So, for example, when I uh, copy it back to the uh, Power Automate editor, then it's, it's possible to put something in this section. So, having this uh, knowledge, uh, we build a solution, the Chrome extension, which can uh, simply uh, get the information from this section and put also uh, actions to, to this section of Power Automate Editor. So uh, our tool is accessible from the toolbar of the Chrome. Uh, we are on the SharePoint page, so we can uh, we have button to start recording the actions. And simply what we can do, it's, yeah, it's a simple refresh. And as you can see, we already have some uh, requests which are uh, added, uh, which are invoked by SharePoint uh, uh, on the background. So because we have the uh, simple uh, list web part, 
uh, then it means that we use, for example, render list as data, uh, data stream uh, request. I will stop recording now because we have too much uh, uh, actions already. We need only one. Uh, let's imagine that we needed to get only the list items from this list. Uh, another method to to get the uh, requests or or the actions it's uh, sp editor it's uh, also the chrome extension uh, which has the pnpjs console uh, section where you can invoke um, functions and requests from pnpjs and we can again we can start recording from from our tool and so using control d we can invoke uh, some requests in uh, in behind right so uh, the default ones are one uh, one request to get the web data, also the the, the request to get something from uh, Graph API and something from Taxonom. Let me maybe run this one as once again. And as you can see, we have we catch all of those requests here in our tool. So we have the uh, information about web. We have Graph call to me endpoint, and we have also uh, uh, process query, which is corresponding to uh, to get data about taxonom. Okay, so you can you maybe wonder how to use it in the Power Automate. Uh, so simply, we need to go to the uh, Power Automate uh, editor uh, to my clipboard section, and we need to choose the actions which we would like to copy into the uh, to this section. So we have the second button, copy items, and after. Uh, accepting this uh, pop-up, uh, we have these actions in in the section. So maybe I will show two examples, maybe process query and uh, graph call. <clears throat> so in the process query, we, as you can see, we have all data um, uh, filled out. So it's a method, site address, also uh, headers. Some of them are necessary. Some of them are uh, from, from browser. So maybe we can delete them. And also we have information in the body. So it's not so easy to uh, to create this kind of H SharePoint HTTP request uh, alone, but yeah, we can simply uh, create it with our tool. <clears throat> the second example is the, uh, the graph uh, call. And as you can see, it's a different type of action. It's the uh, HTTP action. And again, we have all information filled out. But in this case, please remember that uh, it has like a, a, a authorization token, which will be uh, expired in, in some time. So you need to, to have it work. You need to uh, make a proper authorization uh, to this action. So let me save it. Uh, I need to choose the connection. Let's save it. Uh, let's run the test. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, everything passed successfully. So yeah, we have here uh, information from the graph call. Uh, another feature of the tool, it's, uh, as I mentioned before, um, connection with the community blocks. So this one is the example of the article which we have created about uh, but uh, usage in the Para Automate. Uh, and inside, we have some description how to build the flow, uh, also how to uh, configure the each, each of action. And if your page has a structure like this that uh, has some hidden um, elements with this particular class, and inside you have uh, a correct JSON of the action, then uh, our tool will recognize that there is something interesting on this page. So using this button, you can copy all actions which are listed, which are in the on the page, right? So as you can see, we have, for example, variable, we have some switches and, and, and so on. And again, we can go to the, uh, to my clipboard section uh, of the flow. Uh, we go to different tab uh, in our solution and we can choose again, uh, let's take the variable and maybe the switch. 
uh, switch action and as you can see we can also copy uh, the whole action so it's much much easier way to copy something from the community block instead of uh, filling out every text input yes and the same it's with the uh, with the switch. So more complex actions can be also copied. Uh, the last feature, uh, it's about copying actions between um, different environments. So because uh, we use the storage of the uh, Chrome extension of, of the Chrome, then we are able to, uh, you know, to, to create something on one flow and maybe we, we would we don't want to copy the whole flow on different environment on tenant, but we would like to copy only some of the actions. So then uh, when this clipboard action is open, then we can go again to our solution. Uh, let me clear this list. And we have the last button, get my clipboard actions. So we can click it and then we can copy all actions which are stored in the clipboard, but in more persistent way. So <clears throat> then if you would like to uh, transfer these actions to different uh, environment, so my method is to open a uh, incognito window, window to log into with the different account on different tenant, and then all actions are still there, right? So you can also uh, use one particular action instead of the whole flow. Uh, so yeah, let's come back to, to the presentation. Uh, last but not least, you may wonder how to get the tool. Uh, so good news, you can add it to your Chrome browser direct, directly from the store uh, or follow the guidelines on my uh, personal page. So it's available on the uh, Chrome Web Store. Uh, you can simply install from here or you can go uh, also to my GitHub account and uh, here the, st the code is stored so you can check it. Also, there is a description how, yeah, what features it has, and also how to build uh, package manually and how to install it manually. If you find uh, any issue issues, then please let me know. You can also put some comments into issues section. Uh, okay, so thank you for your attention. Of course, if you have some ideas or concepts, what can be added or improved to the tool. Uh, I'm eager to listen to your feedback. So once again, reach me uh, on reach me out on uh, LinkedIn or GitHub. And uh, yeah, so that's all from my side. Big thank you for being here with me, and see you around. Thank you.